Hey everyone, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel, and today guys, we got some awesome Vanguard news. But guys, before we get too far into that, please, subscribe if you're new, and smash the like button, because guys, we are currently just finished up the giveaway for the three booster packs, and I will be recording another video, because I did give the winner of the prior booster pack opening H24 hours to message me, and he did not. So expect that later tonight as well. But we have some news to share about Cardfight Vanguard and some thoughts and theories to go with it. So guys, if you're excited for the new era of Vanguard, please leave a comment down below telling me you are. And let's move along. Alrighty. So, we have some news about front triggers. And if you haven't read it yet, it states, Don't get too cozy with the idea of them. From the fast guide, front triggers will not be available for every clan. It will be used with specific clans. Meaning that only specific decks will get a front trigger. Which, if you don't know what a front trigger does, it gives 10k to the whole front row. Now, I'm expecting decks like Royal Paladin, Shadow Paladin, and Gold Paladin, and Kagero all to have this. Um, what leads me to believe that at least the Paladin clans will have this is that it's stated that Ultima cannot change the effect of a um, front trigger. Which would technically lead me to believe that it could be in a lot of the decks in that clan. But I will leave it at that. Um, I also have something else to cr to critique in my prior statement about clans that aren't currently going to be in Season 1. So last time I did a video on this, I had gone over, I'd listed several clans that won't be in supported in Season 1 as of right now. Because of story, so on and so forth. As we know, that we're probably going to see Aqua Force in Season 1 due to the images of Leon and a whole bunch of other factors. But, with that being stated, we shouldn't see Gold or sh gold Paladin, Nurikami, or Angel Feather, and Link Joker. Those are four of the clans that we shouldn't see. We're getting Aqua Force support for some reason. Aqua Force wasn't in Season 1. We're also going to be down Neo Nectar, because Neo Nectar wasn't in there in during Season 1. So, um, those are the six major decks and clans that are going to get support maybe this year, but they might not. Because Bushiro has technically, I believe, given support to all these decks. Or if they haven't given support to all these decks, these decks should see some support later this year. But that's um, the... I wanted to correct my statement because I only listed like three or four deck clans last time. So, yeah. Hopefully we'll see some good support for those. But let's move along into the next subject, which is the trial decks. So thus far, we know that the Aichi and Kai trial decks are coming out. June 8th, and if you guys just can't wait to get your hands on those amat on the new s stuff from the new sets, um, they there will be this thing called Caravan Demo or Demo Caravan, which is where Bushy Roll will go around to different shops and stuff, from my understanding, and teach people how to play Vanguard. You get a free trial deck out of it, and um, it it's just real basic. It's gonna have certain cards like Gansalot and Nahalem, but nothing really major. And nothing really life-changing. Again, it's a free trial deck, so don't expect a lot from it. I don't know if there's going to be any form of foils in there. I don't think there would be. But yeah, so I wanted to go over what the both trial decks will include. These are pre-constructed decks containing 50 cards in the, in the three gift markers. So that's always good, even though you probably don't need all three. You probably get all three, unless they give you the specific imaginary gift for the deck. So like... In this deck, you're getting Alfred Early, so you might just get the Alfred Early gift. But that's besides the point. This deck will include 14 different cards, all of which are exclusive to this trial deck. So meaning you can only get these cards, a specific art style or specific card in this trial deck. So it is pretty good. It includes four PGs, because Bushiro is smart enough over time and realizing that putting PGs in trial decks was a good idea. Includes support for the Royal Paladin Clan. Includes a play map, official play... Price is 1500 yen, which is about $15 US. Each display will contain six decks. Includes cards used by IG Sendo. Some decks will include a copy of Blaster Blade with the Arthur's hot stamp signature. Some decks will include a triple rare gift with a hot stamp on it. So those are both hot stamps. I don't know if you get both in one deck or if they're two separate things. Uh, every two decks purchased will get you a will get you of two promo card packs. Which include Knife Silence, Guillot uh, Guillotine, and Dragon Knight Nahalem with alternate arts, which is really good. And then these are the list. Um, 
And like I said, Blaster Blade has been confirmed at four copies a deck, it looks like, which is really nice because the original tri deck only gave you one or two. I can't remember, it's been so long. And then there's Knight of Silence in here, which is really good. And if we move along, we can move over into the Kai deck, which offers almost everything the same beside, except this gives you an Overlord by the author of this series instead of a Blaster Blade. Um, we don't know how many of what units we're getting, except for Dragonic Overlord we're getting four copies of. Um, we don't know any of these units' skills besides Nahalem's, I believe. Which gives you... Which, yeah, we know Nahalem's skill, which is Counter Blast 2. Choose one of your opponent's regards and retires it. Nothing all that major. It has 9k power, which is 10k power weaker than the original vanilla Nahalem. So overall, not bad for the trial decks. Um, I'm really excited to pick these up, and I plan on doing a deck profile on them when they come out June 8th, so be on the lookout for that on both of them. Uh, moving along to the booster set, so our first booster set of the new series of Vanguard V will be the Unite Team Q4, which will include 84 cards, 4 VR, 8 triple, 8 triple rares, 12 double, 13, uh, not 13, wow, 17 rares and 43 commons, plus parallel cards, which are all listed here. Includes four secret gift marks, illustrated featuring of the characters from the series, and hot stamped of those characters' voice actors, which is amazing in my opinion. I love stuff like that, and I, if I ever was to meet any of those voice actors, I'd get it signed again. Um, includes a new Vanguard vanguard rare and a special vanguard rare original rare and imaginary rare so they're introducing not one not two but four new rarities i think i counted right yeah four new rarities to the game guys that's gonna throw rarities all over the place um each display each display includes one vr or secret so that means from what I think that means that every box has at least one VR or secret rare in it, which is good. That's a starting point to making it fair, because if certain cards are only specific to VR or secret rare, then it kind of makes it hard to obtain those cards. I think that's more reasonable than saying that each case displays holds like one of every card. Yes, granted, you're not going to get guaranteed that one VR or S VR that you need each time, but at least with this way, it's like, oh, well... Now you know each box will contain one. Um, SVRs are hot stamped versions of the VRs, which is nice to know. ORs include new versions of the new versions of cards with their, their original artwork. So essentially, it would be like Perfect Razor doing its signature Perfect Razor original art, but with its new skill. Um, imaginary rares are exclusive and are for this guy depicting Aichi Sendo as Blaster Blade. Fair enough. Uh, each display includes 16 packs, one carton includes 20 displays, so that means, yeah, so I was right about this. So you're guaranteed per box one of these, which is really nice. It's also going to make them fairly cheap. Um, each pack can include seven cards, with two of them being rares. Include support for Royal Paladin, Oracle Think Tank, Kaguro, and Nova Grappler. This pack illustrates and features Aichi Sendo... Toshiki Kai, Masaki, and Ka uh, Kamui, and a new Alfred unit, and a new Alfred. So we're going to get a new Alfred, which is even more amazing. A special pack will be given for every four packs purchased, which includes one of four cards. So if you buy a box, you should get four of these. A Royal Paladin promo card and a gift mark with Aichi Sendo on it, Oracle Think Tank, Kaguro. So this is why I... I hope I can buy a case of this because I would really like these unique gift marks, which I think are going to be amazing. I don't think we can see them right now. Maybe. Yeah, no, we can't. They're just direct links to that. So that's going to be kind of cool. Um, nothing really announced yet for the set. Um, and then I just sort of brought up Blaster Blade. I wanted to theorize about his skill. I feel like it's going to be the same. He's At least he's going to have two skills and one of them is going to be a retire skill. Um... I don't know if it's going to be Counter Blast 2 or Counter Blast 1. I would hope that it would be a Counter Blast of 1, because honestly, at this point, Counter Blast and 2 to retire one unit isn't really worth it. 
But we'll have to wait and see on that. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the exact same skill if he has a skill at all. He might not. He might just be a 10k vanilla. Which would be okay with me as well. But the art looks amazing. And the only other card I really, I'm really, i really excited for is Perfect Razor. So I've been saying every time we hear Nova Grappler is getting support. I always say I want Razor support. Because the last time Razors got official support was all the way back in Legion. That was their major support. They had a couple cards in set 1 of G. But they were just supporting cards for the main deck. There was no reason to really run it. Or you could run it. It made the deck better. But I want official Razor support. I want a stronger Razor unit. I want my Razor deck to be... I want my Razor deck to look nice. And I love Razors. So that's about that. And I think this is going to have something similar to its original skill where when Ride, send all Razors on your rear guard to Soul. Get X power for every Razor in Soul during your turn. And then um, it gets a critical. I think it's going to get more power and potentially more criticals per Razor in Soul. So like instead of getting an additional A additional critical it will be like for every three razors in soul gain a critical so it's now i have 13 razors in soul while well, you do 12 of them is going to give me four additional criticals that might seem overpowered but in all reality it's not because you're going to perfect guard that attack and then i'm going to twin drive into whatever i twin drive but that's what i'm hoping for this and i just i'm so excited for this guys honestly like I, I just can't wait to see what this series holds. And we're going to get announcements soon because this set comes out in Japan May 25th. So we have less than two months before it's released. So we're going to see everything relatively soon. And the trial decks come out, I believe, in May as well. So May 11th. So we have even less than a month before or a month and a half before we see these. But I don't want to hold you guys up here too long about unofficial news it's more theories and stuff here but i wanted to talk about this with you guys and see what you thought and update you on the front triggers there's more things to come um we're gonna we're gonna figure out if these have any rule changes the imaginary gif and so much more to come with the series guys i'm so happy but until next time i've been the silver wolf and i will see you all later peace